Hello and welcome back to my Let's Play of Little Nightmares, Secrets of the Moor. Well, now I do apologise for cutting off early, but I've soon discovered that the only way to get out of here is by pressing this lamp switch. It's the only way to open up this door. Oh, I mean, I never did that on my test run, but... Well, at least we stopped the ceiling. Ah, oh, wait a minute! Did that... Was that the door through that to that room over there with the piano? Oh, God, I really didn't know that! I mean, I guess it's safe to put the... I guess we could put the final statue over that statue room now. I mean, we're nearly close to the end now. Well, there are no shadowy kids about. Finally, the three statues collected, we can progress further. Oh, the broken mirrors. Now you know the lady doesn't like looking at uh, herself in unbroken mirrors, like in the main campaign when I don't come. Six. Oh, I don't like this at all. Wait, is that her? Oh, that was her. Oh no, it's just a mask. Wait a minute. Oh. Uh, hey, there she is, but what's she hiding? Let's have a look. <coughs> oh, look at her! She... Oh. God, she's... I don't know what to say! This is creep. Oops! Oh. I guess someone has not aged well! Perfect. Oh, I saw her ugly face right here! Ugh. She never showed that in the main campaign! No wonder why... No wonder she wears that kabuki mask the entire time! Now all I have to do is get out of here! I mean, when... there's the runaway kid, we're not ready to confront her. But only six can do that in the final confrontation in the main campaign. Oh no, not the mannequin room again! Trust me, you don't know when one of those mannequins is going to be her. Oh dear. I don't like this at all. This is really challenging. I mean, I had no idea she was that old. <coughs> I thought she was more... I thought she was like a younger woman. Let's check through here. Oh, God! Oh, I thought it was her. It's like what Mark Plyer said. You never know when one of those mannequins are going to be her. Looks like, we're, looks like we're not going to escape in one piece. Looks like she's stalking us already. I better check through this final... Wait a minute, what's through here? We probably took care of her shadowy kid minions. Oh, a broken mirror. What was that? Look. You know it would hurt to... It's stepping on the glass on your... Stepping on the glass with your, on your bare feet. <laughs> Let's see what's through this. Oh, uh oh where something an event follow will occur. Oh no! A dude already! Uh oh, this is not good at all!
Now we now we've seen what has happened. <coughs> oh no! No! I've got I've turned in, I've got turned into a gnome! It's impossible! No, I'm stripped under my clothes! But where, oh yeah, where's the lady gone to? I'm assuming she's gone to attempt to the other get people of the guests in the main campaign. That makes this that is that is so, now I believe the known transformations to the other children has something to do with the lady. See, oh, I can jump, but only a little. Well, we haven't escaped in one piece, but... There's something dramatic and upsetting that we will see in due course. Oh, there's some these guys again. Intending to their meals. Good job, I'm not being eaten by them. I mean, I don't know how much food they consume, but they've done enough already. Ah, suppose you all would know this lift. That's the lift that the lady took in the main campaign. And the same lift that Six took to, to confront her for one final time. Now, if I remember rightly, there was a vent where Six came out of. Yeah, that's a vent that Six used. Oh, there's a, oh, there's a hole in the, in the floor. I cannot believe this has happened. Just, just when we're about to get closer, when we're about to escape, but God, we unexpectedly turned into this gnome. Let's see, how do I get out of here again? I have no flashlight. And now I'm powerless to see in the dark. I don't know where to go. Ah, oh, there, I know where to go. Through this hole. Oh, I get it now. Ah, oh, the sausage! I remember! Sausage we were about to have. So... So that was the gnome who offered me the sausage! Until we... I unexpectedly ate him! Oh... I didn't... I mean... Six didn't even know that in the main campaign! She didn't even know that that was the runaway kid! Oh, I feel terrible eating him! What kind of person am I? What kind of human being? <laughs> oh no, I'm just so guilty. Oh no, this is a dramatic, sad ending for all horror games. But at least this this shows what happened when. when different, different, oh, I've earned a trophy. We'll meet again. But that's not likely, unfortunately. We never escaped in one piece, but... It's a good job Six got out of there, seeing as she's the only survivor, and the only kid who escaped. But, uh, I feel bad for that kid who we ate. And still, Six didn't even know the gnome was actually the runaway kid. <sighs> Well, at least we took care of the lady in the main campaign anyway. And by inheriting her powers after eating her. Don't you all feel the same way after playing this? Well, at least we've completed the secrets of the mall anyway. I don't know if most of you would like to see this turn into, a, into like a movie or a TV series. Oh, 
What the? Something unexpected on this telly. Ah. Oh, there was that man on the TV, but didn't. I don't know if you can see that clearly. <sighs> well, at least you've enjoyed this horrifying and unexpected expe expansion of Secrets of the Moor. That was a horrifying and enjoyable experience in the, in the third and final ex the third and final DLC of Secrets of the Moor. So that's the entire let's, entire experience of Little Nightmares for you all. And I'll probably see you on next time as I continue on with my let's play of Dragon Ball Z Ultimate Tenkaichi. And then so until then, bye!